guys, this is Felix, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a pretty cool intro uh, that you probably just saw if you weren't looking away. Uh, so let's get started. Let's make a uh, rectangle and a text. So we got these two splines here, um, uh, and you want to choose a symmetrical layer like A or M or uh, you know something. And uh, let's choose a cool font here, Cafe Nero. So press T to bring up the scale tool, and then you want to drag to the right to scale up the letter, and press E to bring up the move tool and just move it down. So it's almost centered. And uh, now we want to create a camera and remove the rotation and the X and Y position so we just got the C position and let's change this to about 1300 and press this little button here to enter the camera's point of view okay and then we want to select these two objects press C or this button uh, to make them editable and then you want to right click and click uh, connect and delete okay so this is now one spline one object alright and you know if we hit render now we won't see anything so uh, let's let's change this by uh, creating a extrude nerves and put the spline into the extrude nerves and yeah there we go let's exit the camera's point of view and you know look at that it's looking uh, looking pretty good already. Um, uh, we want we want up some more depth uh, depth here as well. So uh, let's change this to 50. And I think we'll need some caps too. It's co it's completely optional, you know. Um, but I think it looks a bit better. All right. So let's enter the camera point of view. Okay, so I got these materials here. Um, they are really simple materials, just with a color here. You know, I choose. I uh, I chose uh, blue because I like blue, and then a bit of reflection, and just a simple pencil here, like so. It's very easy to do. Okay, uh, you know, I can show you that in another tutorial. I I think the majority of you already know how to do it, so uh, let's let's just carry on. Okay, so let's take this material and drag it uh, onto the extrude nerves. Okay, and then choose the uh, black material. You sh we should duplicate this, by the way. And uh, let's go down to the selection and type C1. And it has to be a capital C, has to be capital C, or else it will not work. Okay, and then choose the other copy and type C2. And uh, what this is going to do, it's going to add the material here and uh, here. So we got a couple of different materials on one single object. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And then we want to add this caps material. That is just, uh, it has a bit more reflection. Uh, and you know, we, you could add some glow to this if you want to as well. Let's add some glow. Just a bit. Okay, like like so, 20%. So let's uh, add this to our extrude nerves. Duplicate it again. And uh, type R1. And then again, capitals. Capitals. And then R2 here. Okay. So this object is pretty much done. Uh, now we want to animate this, so um, let's go to frame 70 or something. <laughs> uh, and you want to go to chord and control click uh, this here, RH and PC. Okay, so now we have this uh, this keyframe right here. And let's go back to frame 0 and type a thousand here that's gonna move it back uh, and then we want to make a keyframe by control clicking again and we want to add some rotation as well 
and then make another keyframe. So let's uh, let's play this animation. Yeah, that's uh, that's basically what we want. Let's go into the camera and see how it looks over here. Yeah, that is looking pretty good. Let's uh, let's make a quick preview render. That's looking pretty goddamn awesome, if I may say so. Um, uh, so let's carry on and make the text. So click MoGraph and grab a text object. Let's uh, change up these values real quick. And we want to type something awesome, like so. And uh, let's use the same font as before. Bring it up a bit. Increase the horizontal spacing. Press T to scale it. Well, T to bring up the scale tool, and you know, and then drag. And then R to bring up the rotation. I want to rotate it just a bit, like so. And then E to move it down. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. And uh, now we want to add some materials to this. So let's start with the side material and drag it onto our text object. Um, and then the the front and back material. Duplicate it. C2 and C1. Alright, good, good, good. <clears throat> and then the caps. Duplicate the material again. R1 and you guessed it, R2. There we go. Um, see if there. there oh, <laughs> I forgot we have no caps, so uh, let's add some quick caps here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. Um, uh, yeah, so let's animate the text as well. So, we got the plate spinning here, and it's done spinning on uh, on frame 70. So let's go to frame I don't know 90 or something. Grab the text object and uh, go to chord. Uh, make a keyframe to the Y position. Okay, there we go. Go to frame 60 or something, and just increase this value. Let's let's go with 500. Uh, so let's make a a new keyframe. There we go. Go to the first frame and play the animation. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Um, um, but we can make this. T we can make it a bit smoother, I think. And it's touching here. And that is not allowed. And just we want to increase this a tiny bit, like so, and make keyframe. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Um, and let's go to the smoothing here. We want to go to a frame near somewhere here, and just make a keyframe, bloop, and then take this keyframe and drag it so that it's closer to the first keyframe this will make for a pretty cool effect um, and we don't want the text to go into our object so you, you're just gonna have to play around until you find the correct amount let's actually make a new keyframe Here or something. Okay, make a new keyframe and move this there. So we're gonna have this smoothing. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty smooth. All right, so let's play the animation real quick. Yeah, 
not not too shabby that's all right and uh then we want the camera movement we we uh, want to animate the camera so that it flies into the m um and this is very easy to do um let's go to frame i don't know 130 and now we want to add a keyframe to the c position so there we go and move forward like 10 frames or so put this value to 200 no not 200 minus 200 um, increase now decrease this a bit man this is this is slow and then just move this down and <laughs> let's match this up No? 200. <laughs> okay, keyframe, keyframe. And uh, change this to zero and make a keyframe. Okay, so let's see how the camera movement looks. Yeah, alright. And the whole animation looks like this. Alright, um, um, that's pretty much it. And uh, I know I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, you know, if you learned something, please press the little like button below. I really appreciate that. And you know, uh, other than that, guys, see you later.